you're a regular watcher of men's fashion videos here on YouTube, then you've probably already seen videos with similar titles to this one. But there's one massive difference with my title, the word affordable. So for this video, I put together a list of 12 different trends for this season, did a little extra digging to make sure I found the very lowest prices for you. So if you like what you see, you can click the links down below in the description and be on trend without breaking your pockets. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Ooh, that's that ugly style. First up, we got something from my dapper guys, an unstructured blazer. And although I'm not a blazer guy myself, I've seen plenty of guys pull this type of look off, especially when it gets a little warmer because unstructured blazers have no lining in them. So naturally they're gonna be a little more breathable, a little more casual, but you don't have to sacrifice style to be less formal. And I found them for you online between 40 and 70 bucks, depending on your budget. Next up, we got classic shades. This season, you're gonna see a whole bunch of different bright color shades and very unique shapes, but those really take some trying on in the mirror to make sure they fit your face and your head shape. But thank goodness we've already been blessed from our forefathers of having established staples that basically fit any face. So if you stick with the Wayfarer or a Aviator or a Clubmaster in like black or tortoise shell, you can't really go wrong. And I found them for you for as low as $7 down below. Now let's talk about floral shirts. Some of y'all might remember last year a video I put out about what things to avoid for spring and summer last year. And one of the things on that list were the really bright Hawaii tiki shirts that guys love to wear. And because I said that, a whole bunch of y'all got mad at me and really jumped down my neck. But now if you look at all the stores, what do you see? I don't care if you go high end, mid tier, or super affordable, most of the florals, nine times out of 10, they're all super subdued, laid back, dark tones, or neutral tones, okay? I have this channel, I study fashion to make sure y'all are ahead of the curve. So next time, just listen to your boy. That's all I gotta say. Listen to me, all right? Just throw this on by itself or open it up with a white t-shirt underneath it and you look amazing. And I found them for you for as low as $12 down in the description. Now for this next one, I'm not sure if you noticed, but suede jackets, they kinda popping right now. They kinda doing their thing. But that real cow high is gonna cost you at least $200 or more. So if you wanna go more lightweight and environmentally friendly, then go with a faux suede jacket. This is a perfect thing that you can wear to the office if you're more of a dapper guy with the button down and tie underneath it, or just throw a plain t-shirt and you still look a little more put together than if you wore a regular bomber jacket or a regular trucker. So I found them for you down below for as low as $25. Now this next trend is my favorite one on this entire list and that is patterned pants. And even if you're a guy that doesn't like to stand out too much or you're super bold, I've already made a video on exactly how to style pattern pants depending on your level of a statement you want to make. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link down here or up here rather. And I'll put one down in the description for you if you want to check it out. And for this trend, I found them for as cheap as 20 bucks for you. And I got three different links down below for checks, stripes, and florals. For this next one, we have an overshirt, AKA the shacket. That is gonna be a little bit thicker than a shirt and a little bit lighter than a jacket. You can literally take the same jacket that you get in the spring, put it away in the summer, bring it back out in the winter and wear it under another coat or another thing when you need to be super warm. They come in limitless colors and materials, different type of pockets and shapes to them. I love this piece, it's probably the best, most spring essential you ever could have. And matter of fact, I might make a whole video on this because I'm very, very passionate about the shacket. So if you do want to see a video on this, let me know right now in the comments. But anyway, I found these for you for as low as $16, my friend. So if you want to check them out, you know where to find them. Now for this one, I'm going to say it right now. If you have haven't already copped yourself a vertical striped shirt for this season, do it. If worn the right way, not only does it make you look slimmer and taller, but effortlessly stylish at the same time. Now, if you don't already know the science of vertical stripes, go ahead and Google it if you need proof, but trust me, I'm right on this one. And for these, I found them for as low as 24 bucks, and as a pro tip, get a short sleeve one so you can wear it all the way through the summer. Next, we got chunky sneakers. Now, whether or not you like dad shoes does not change the fact that it's actually here and still relevant. And if you wanna save money on this trend, I would either go with ASOS or Zara. And little do people know, this fun fact for you, that Zara started off 
as a footwear company. That's why all their shoes are usually better than all the rest of these fast fashion companies and they're always on trend. So if you wanna find them for as low as 40 bucks, you got links down in the description. Now some of y'all probably already guessed this next one. There's no way that dad shoes are on this list and I'm not gonna bring up dad jeans. They're the perfect thing to pair with chunkier shoes so you're not walking around looking like Mickey Mouse. And for some guys, it can be hard to tell what big is too big and how wide to go for your comfortability. If y'all do want a video on how to find the right width for your shoe, how to wear a big pen without looking stupid, I'm more than happy to make a video, but you gotta let me know in the comments if you wanna see that. But either way, I found them for you for as low as 28 bucks if you wanna explore this trend. Next up, we have another timeless staple, the polo shirt. But the new version of this is not the Abercrombie & Fitch ad from the 2000s, but instead go with like a more neutral color, a navy, a white, a subtle stripe. And as a pro tip, if you wanna elevate the shirt or make it a little bit different than the rest of these guys wearing polos, go for like a open collar, like the kind with no buttons or a banded sleeve, or even like a mandarin collar to add a little more minimalism. And if you wanna check them out, I found them for you down below as low as $10. Now this one is for my guys who like to wear shorts and or crop pants. If you want to avoid having nerd ankle or PE teacher ankle, you got to invest in some no show socks. They're exactly how they sound. They do not show when you wear them, but they save your shoes from being super funky from your sweaty feet. I got some links down below for you where you can find them for super cheap. Oh, and please, please, if you're going to wear these, you got to lotion your ankles, okay? No ashy ankles, ever. The final one on this list is probably the most controversial. Either guys hate these or they love these, but usually they don't like them. And that is white pants. White pants. White pants. But in my opinion, there are ways you can style them without taking too much risk. The safe bet is to not wear anything else white with them, okay? If you rock navy, black, something neutral or gray, then you're good to go. And I found them for you for as low as $17 down in the description. If this video brought you any kind of value, even a little bit, leave your guy a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subject, this is the only channel on YouTube that not only you're gonna find affordable fashion content, how to dress in smart, casual style, but also tech advice. So you'll learn like how to take better outfit photos, how to be more successful on social media, how to build a brand for your business, all that good stuff. So if that sounds good to you and a place you wanna be, then go ahead and sub and hit that bell icon. Thank y'all so much for your time and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Oh snap, hold on, hold on. Almost forgot, almost forgot. The sneaker of the day. These are by Oliver Cabell, okay? These are their low ones in a color called nude. But really, not really my favorite word because obviously it's not nude to my skin, but it is a dusty pink and I do wear it with lighter colors and it's one of my favorite shoes to wear and I get tons of compliments on them but not sponsored but you know I do a shoe of the day every day now so there you go it'll be linked down below if you like it thank you for watching peace